get out and vote and donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Yeah, exactly. You know, there were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt retarded. Professional comedian over here, Ben Stiller, boys. He uh, mixes the jokes. I, w- I wish I was just like every other Jewish white man. I wish I was black. Uh, is that true? Hmm? John, John Stewart or Senor Leibowitz, whatever, whatever your real name is. Seems like you're pretending to not be Jewish, but uh, why don't you pretend to be black? He said that every white Jew wants to be a a black person these days. Holy balls. (laughs) This is just so stupid. I can't can't tell how much of this is just a horrible joke written by a dude whose time has passed him by. Or how much of it is just, you know, white guilt. But this this is the type of message that resonates with a lot of white lefty goofball liberals is this whole notion of white guilt. Like you're, you're a bad person because you're skin color. I love how we're going to solve racism, by the way. We're going to solve racism by demonizing white people and trying to shame people who are white because they're white. <laughs> that seems like a weird way to solve racism. But when you're a dumb lefty moron like this over here, nothing needs to make any sense. Again, you guys have a candidate that you didn't vote for. <laughs> you have a candidate. All of this nonsense of how much you love Kamala Harris is just massive cope because you were told this is now your can't. You voted for the old dude who poops his pants, but now you got this chick over here that nobody likes. 24 hours before Joe Biden was forced out of the position, you guys were all talking about how Kamala Harris was dead weight on the platform, that he needed to get rid of her. And now you all love her long time and all of her White cuck, white guilt having supporters like Ben Stiller over here are telling everybody that, well, I wish I was black. (laughs) What? What was going on over there? Is this just a poorly landed? You would think that's just a poorly landed joke. But again, this is what they this is what they've been doing. There's only one race of people out there that is completely and utterly self-loathing at this point. And it's you white gullible morons of the left hand side. And you get all upset when conservative people or people who don't have daddy issues go, yeah, no, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm a white person and I have zero guilt. Yeah, I'm not responsible for anything that anybody else did. I refuse to have any type of shame or guilt. And then you go, well, you're not allowed to be proud of being white. Well, this is the best way to make me proud of being white. Telling me that I have to be shameful because I'm white. Assholes. But uh, here you go. Here's Defiant L's. Ben Stiller says that he wishes he was black as they have a cuck comedians for Kamala event. You guys, uh, how, how are you having a comic for Kamala event before you have a Native Americans for Kamala event? Where's that at? Where's the Native American dudes for Kamala Harris? Where's the Hispanic, Hispanic dudes? La raza for Kamala Harris. Where's all that at? How come you just did uh, blacks and whites? How come he didn't do Jews? I, I noticed that you didn't do a Jews. Jews for Kamala. How come you didn't do that? Hey, I'm weird gay, I'm weird gay, I'm going to do that. You know, I'm uh, Jewish and Irish, but I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. I am going to press X to doubt that. <laughs> Especially lately. I'm watching, watching a lot of... Uh, Really interesting stuff with the left-hand side over there. I think I, I, I'm blown away that the left-hand side hasn't lost more Jewish people <laughs> with everything that's going on. It's fucking fascinating. <laughs> but there you go. Here is some more real dumb pandering. Hey, Blickfith. Hey, Blickfith. We all wish that we were Blickfith too. You're you're super duper marginally and oppressed, marginalized, marginally. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you idiots don't even know what you're talking about on the left-hand side. Marginally, marginalized. With margarine on your side. There's systemic racisms everywhere. Oh my god, it must be so hard to be black, but we all wish we were blexes. Huh? Eh? Eh? You, you idiots even hearing yourself? Huh? 
How much did you guys raise over here? Four hundred and sixty thousand dollars, lads. How many? I'm not trying to spend anybody else's money, but I think it's hilarious. You got all of these left-wing, white guilt-having socialist commies on the left-hand side. They don't want to socialize any of their paychecks. You've got all of these rich-cut comedians who, I, I mean, Ben Stiller's paid, you know, tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars to play some goofball in a movie. But he needs, uh, he needs Lana over here to give 50 bucks. He needs Melanie to give 25. He needs uh, Kirsten to give 25. Trace is going to go in with 26. By the way, this is, none of these people exist down here. <laughs> this is probably just all money laundering. Money laundering. Money laundering. From the, again, you guys are the socialist commies, right? I'm a capitalist, right? I'm a capitalist. Right? So I, I'm fine with people making money. And, and I'm fine with people hoarding money as far as I'm concerned. But you're the commie socialist scumbag over here. But I noticed that you don't want to give, I'm going to give $150,000. Tax deductible, of course. Tax deductible. Got to talk to my, my black accountant over here. Because I'm sure every white Jewish man who wants to be a black person hires only black people around them, right? Right, Ben? Right, Ben? Got to talk to your black CPA? Hmm? Oh, you don't have a black CPA? Oh, that's a weird thing. You don't, uh, what about your black money manager? No, you don't have a black money manager either? Oh, shoot. Well, you know, coordinate all of that with your black lawyer. Oh, dude, you don't have a black lawyer. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a black in here somewhere. I mean, tell everybody he wants to be black. Idiot scumbag. There you go. Some more uh, stupid lefty liberal nonsense where they try to, you know, shame white people and Tell white people that you suck and you shouldn't want to be white. You should want to be black to, to fight right with them. And by the way, give money to Kamala Harris. Why does she even need any money? You got 81 million supporters for Joe Biden. You guys are all super duper happy that your dude got thrown under, under the uh, Democrat bus. You guys were shifted uh, with a little bit of Kamala Harris in our Jones, right? You should be fine. Huh? Weird. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support Joe. Don't be kept up to date with these cut comedians. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.